So computing is a bit more complicated than this. Uh, and of course, computers don't have bodies for the time being. Happiness is not an algorithm. It's not a download. It's not an app. And humans aren't code. And that's what we have to teach our kids. The world is not a machine. Other humans are not code. You can't program happiness. You have to discover it. And this is part of the process that I think we have to think about when we talk about education. Las universidades vamos a tener que ir viendo cómo disminuir de alguna manera esa barrera que era que no íbamos como una especie de retiro silencio al mundo académico a estar durante cinco años o dos años en un magíster a tener una actualización mucho más permanente de nuestros conocimientos. We as human beings are wired to look at an infinite number of contexts. Machines cannot do it. So once again, you start seeing the uh, a gener general approach that you are taking, that I'm advocating. Start focusing on what we humans can do that machines cannot do. Are the future of work, are also the jobs that are most human. Um, and in fact, one of the things we've also seen is that as careers progress, those human skills and actually redesign learning in very different ways. The other things it does is, so that's the personalization it can bring. The second thing it can do is really extend access and equity. So any student anywhere in the world can now access a high quality learning experience. And thirdly, it can start to make the learning far more affordable as it embeds itself in very new models that change our assumptions of how learning should look and work. Uh, in fact, most uh, education researchers do not know the most uh, recent results in cognitive psychology. It's, it's, a, it's a tragedy. Mezclar aquí todos estos conceptos y poder hablar con gente, exponer ideas, intercambiar flujos de conocimiento, etc. O sea, acabas con un conocimiento que no venías, ¿no? te enriqueces mucho más. O sea, al fin y al cabo, estoy, soy estudiante también, pero un emprendedor nunca tiene que dejar de aprender. Y agradezco realmente a Telefónica porque esto nos va a permitir llegar a muchos más niños también porque conectamos a todos los núcleos de Sinfonía por el Perú y también conectamos a los chicos con el mundo. Pueden recibir clases maestras de otros países, pueden enriquecerse. Es exactamente, la verdad es que conecta perfectamente con lo, todo lo que hemos estado hablando yo creo esta mañana sobre la importancia al final de, del ser humano. Thinking positively about education, there are many good reasons apart from this. I mean, you can personalize education as we haven't done before. It used to be a luxury to have your own teacher. Now you can personalize, you can, you can um, evaluate continuously and immediately whether the student is learning or not, and that can be done through technology. Mm -hmm.